Hello, welcome to Roller Coaster Motor. My name is Tommy. Today is Saturday, July 24th, 2021. It is opening day of Valley Fair's Grand Carnival celebration, which I believe runs through Sunday, July 9th, if I'm not mistaken. So I'll be covering some of the Grand Carnival celebration stuff, which I believe is pretty much live entertainment and a lot of uh, food options. But I will also be doing the Look at Wild Thing. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. But I will also be going to Soak City, covering some of that. And I was kind of hoping to start Mad Mouse first ride of the day, probably Renegade, then Water Park. We'll see. All right. And the park has a new little sign for the Grand Carnival celebration, other than the regular Valley Fair sign. Well, the park is already very crowded. Gonna head to Men Mouse to check that out and see how long the line is. Hopefully it's reasonable. Yeah, that's a short enough line for me to tolerate. Got to get a ride in before the water park. It's a walk on. Waffle stand still isn't open. First time stepping inside the water park this year. Stop by this bar for a drink next to the wave pool. Here's the cocktails. And here's some of the other drinks available. Canned drinks. 
I went with the corkscrew cooler, which is Tattersall rum, Tattersall lime crema, iced tea, and lemonade. I would say it tastes a bit like a Long Island iced tea, only a little bit more of a lemon, lime, sweet taste to it. Just kind of a drink right up my alley. I would definitely get this again. Cost about $10.99, came out to just over $12 after tax. I also want to show off this food truck that is inside the water park. It's by a splash pad. Over there kind of by the big slides. There's the wave pool. Here's a look at the menu. It just smells amazing. Hey. Right. Time for the absolute best part of the entire water park. The slide tower. Gonna ride each and every slide. Now, if you want to go down the drop capsule slides, these four right here, you want to stay to the right. See right there, Breaker's Pipeline. And then Breaker's Plunge is these two light blue slides that brings you all the way to the top. You can see the top right up there. I'll be riding all of them. Alright, rode all of them. Uh, one thing I will say, no sunglasses, no shoes on any slide. A lot of people had to be told that and had to walk down. Or the lifeguard stopped them right there and let them know before they went up. Uh, another thing is a lot of people get very scared before going on these water slides, which makes sense because they are scary. All I would say is that if you're scared, just step aside and let the next person go and go when you're ready. I saw a lot of people stand there for five minutes doing a will I or won't, won't I type of deal, which just causes further delays for everyone else. So if you're not quite ready, just let the next person go, no big deal. 
Um, I will say the middle two, the orange and yellow, don't get as much of a line because people are more scared of them. People like the ones to the side that have the big loops at, loop out. Those ones just, people just like them more. And the two light blue sides barely garner a line at all. And I, I love those, those are my absolute favorite. Very frightening slides. You can, I mean, you're just wide open. It's a very steep drop, but highly recommend these water slides. By far the best thing in the water park and best thing Valley Fair has added in many, many years. So. And over here is basically where the Grand Carnival celebration is. You got some flags and see some other decorations around. Pretty much entirely in the Planet of Snoopy area of the park. Although you do have some decorations kind of spread throughout the park. And I've noticed just about every single employee does have some beads around their neck, so minor bit of festivity there. So if you're looking to check out Grand Carnival, basically just take a right from the entrance over to here. And there it is. Valley Fair also has a parade route marked with these yellow stripes. You see little markers in the center. It starts over there kind of by the Coca-Cola stand and like the red tent area. And it continues all the way over to the high test arcade area. I was not here at the exact time that a parade was going through, so I did was not able to see it, so. But this is where the route is, goes right through the front of the park. Just looks like a big U pattern, basically, so. And the park has uh, near constant entertainment offerings going on at this stage. You see them right here. And this is what's available at the Germany booth. And here's what the Spain booth has. This is what the India booth has. And this is what's available at the Italy booth. So I purchased this uh, six menu item tasting card, about $35. And on the back it shows every country and their food items. I did not show the China booth, so here's the China food items. And here's everything else. And here are the non-dippers. I'll let you know after I take a first bite how they are. I would say they're pretty good. The red sauce is kind of like a tomato-y type sauce and the white sauce is sort of like tzatziki sauce. I, I don't know how I'll describe it. I don't know Indian food. That's the best comparison I can make, but I would definitely get these again. And this is the Cavatelli cone. Looks quite different from the picture to the point that, uh, I mean, that's just blatantly false advertising. It was supposed to come with meatball too. They told us that they were out of meatballs after we ordered, and they offered something else, but I, I don't know, I wasn't crazy excited about any other items, and the service was extremely slow, so. Yeah, I don't really wanna finish this. It's, I'll put it this way, I've had much better sauces that came out of a jar at a grocery store. Look at that, the holding brake is working for Steel Venom. Very happy to see that I've not seen the holding brake run on any visit I've had this year. I'm not riding it today, but I will make sure to next time because I love that holding brake. I hope they always do everything they can to keep that holding brake running. You just gotta brace for it. It's a great experience, highly recommend it. I'll definitely be riding this next time. So that is it for today. Great time on Mad Mouse, great time on Renegade, great time in the water park, but Grand Carnival, I would not recommend it. Uh, all the workers at the food booths looked absolutely miserable and the only people to blame for that is management, really. The workers need to be much better trained and they need to take care of the workers and make sure they're not so miserable. Do, do something for them, get them happier, but uh, you, you can't have 
you, you just can't have that. I had two items and I'm leaving because it just wasn't, just wasn't very good. Would not recommend it to anybody. Uh, you know, there's being patient and then there's just getting ripped off. Uh, I, I do not recommend anybody spending money on Grand Carnival at all. I will be back in two weeks on the closing day of Grand Carnival, July or August 8th, uh, Saturday. And I don't think I can lower my expectations much lower, but I'll, I'll give them another shot. We'll see. So hopefully you get it figured out by then. But just glad to see Steel Venom's holding break running again. That is great news, but Grand Carnival, I, I would lower your expectations very dramatically if you give it a shot. So, all right, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.